The gelada's peak breeding season is two months away, in the middle of winter. When the females go into estrus, the harem either extends the king's contract or they hire someone else. After four years as king, Braveheart is running out of time to prove he still got what it takes. His family goes about their daily routine. But the harem is restless. Flo's paying more attention to the bachelors on the perimeter. And Braveheart is once again lying down on the job. Ever watchful, Tico sees the opening and moves in. Flo's sisters know this is a crucial moment and possibly a dangerous one. The queen will either reject Tico's advances or accept them. Gelada females aren't monogamous, especially if their king isn't paying them enough attention. But it's best not to throw it in his face. If a female, especially a queen, gets caught in flagrante, that's something even a lethargic monarch can't take lying down. And she's just been caught. reminds his younger brother who's boss. <laughs> Braveheart forces Tico backwards, a sign of dominance. And taunts him into a chase. Tico counters. Braveheart stands his ground. His sudden show of pride is impressive. But the harem isn't convinced. Braveheart's driving Tico away, but his females don't rally to defend their king. Only a young family male sniffs Braveheart in support. Tico takes a swipe. but he pushes Braveheart into full attack mode. Tico is on the back foot. Tico backs off. Luckily for Braveheart, Flo is not an estrus yet and would not have conceived in the tryst. His bloodline is safe for now.